Hey guys and gals, I'm Pal, and welcome back to The Legend of Zelda. What, what just happened? Wait, run that back. Run that back. I pick up the rock, but I don't pick up the rock. The Korok appears, and the rock becomes Bethesda. All right. Well, welcome back to The Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild. Last time, we made lemonade out of lemons, as my recording software had eaten the commentary of a four-hour, three-episode recording. And so I edited that down into a montage and storyboarded, I guess narrated, what happened in that failed recording. Just as a reminder, I am not re-recording the those two episodes just because Breath of the Wild is a big game. It's a big game, and it's a blind game. So the attempt of me to backtrack and get every single collectible that I had gotten in the four-hour recording would have not only been painstaking, but it would have been boring to watch because I ha would have constantly been second-guessing myself, and for the rest of the adventure, I would have always been questioning what I did or did not get in the between those two recordings. The discrepancies, if you will, between the failed episode and the successful one. And so, I'm keeping the footage, and thus the save data, and just doing some post-commentary. So, starting off this episode, it's a bit of more of the same. Last episode, I had complained about there being a lack of substance in this area, about how all of the rewards were just Korok seeds and small treasures, and this area continues to confirm my accusation, with a bunch of Korok seeds and a small cave, Full of gems. It's nothing special. It's not. Uh, it's not a village. It's not a quest. They're just gems. So I'm getting these gems and hoping that I can move on to the excitement which I promised last episode. You remember I said that we we're going to be fighting multiple bosses this time, and that is true. As we go into that into that boss, I decide that it's been a while since we've done any stealth. At one point, stealth was our groove, man, and so I do a quick change, get my stealth gear out, get a frenic bow out. It's like it was 20 episodes ago, all over again. It's even raining. And so we're going to sneak up on the Spockoblin, and then we're going to turn around and face his master, which is the Hinox Oldest Kin. So while he is named, he's just going to be standard fare. Stasis him, shoot him in the eye, maybe not use stasis to shoot him in the eye because I'm... I've gotten better at aiming in this game, so just poking him down. Uh, last episode, I did a little, I did a little clip of me just poking the Hinox on the abandoned or desert desert island, and that's really all there is to this. Just poke him down, hit him in the eye, poke him down, and he's predictable. He's really easy to defeat, even with the Frenic Bow, which has the zoom on it. He's pretty easy. But you'll see that he is holding onto a shrine orb, which means we're going to be going into a shrine, which this guy opens soon after we defeat him. Now, we haven't located, not even off screen, the pedestals for this ball, so they could be any number of places. And being on top of a mountain, that means that I'm going to have to be doing quite a bit of hiking in order to locate where this shrine exactly is with a quick flick to the eye, with my flicks getting much better, actually. Looking at this footage, I'm pretty impressed with a lot of these shots I'm making. These are shots that I wouldn't have been making a, f a few episodes ago, but I am with ease. So as this Hinox goes down, we get his orb and his drops, because that's the best part of a Hinox, are the weapons they drop. Not the toes, not the guts. Not the shrine ball, although maybe the shrine ball, but the weapons. So on top of Mount Terran, there are actually three shrine pedestals. Which means that the oldest kin is followed by a youngest kin and a middle kin. Both are Hinoxes. Now, fighting these three Hinoxes has made me realize just how easy they've become. In fact, just how trivialized a lot of the bosses have become in Breath of the Wild. There was a time when we could defeat the Stone Talus, but not a Hinox. Or the Stone Talus and the Hinox, but not a Guardian. But those times are kind of over. We can defeat anything that we come across, with maybe the exception, since we haven't done it yet, of a Silvermane Lynel and its normal variant. Lynels are really the only thing that we can't defeat right now. And it's kind of sad. 
And a lot of games do this. There are a lot of open world games, like uh, Bethesda games, primarily, that there's a certain point where you just kind of reach a cap. You can't become any more powerful, and the only levers that the game has to tweak to change the difficulty are, is the amount of damage that you and other enemies are doing, and the amount of HP that you and other enemies have. And maybe possibly the number of enemies. But they've run out of, of ways to tweak the difficulty, which is kind of sad. I mean, I I could be wrong about this. In fact, heading into the the advanced trial of the sword, I expect to be proven wrong about this and that they they up the difficulty immensely, but so far, we've kind of reached a ceiling of sorts. The final Lionel, or not the Lionel, the final Hinox is located within sight of the mountain. In fact, I guess all of these are within sight of the mountain. And I find out that you can stand on top of them. Which means I can get a little bit of free damage in, and also find out that the damage is marked. N most, or a lot of games, will not mark any damage onto the enemy until they've completed their getup animation. But this game, nope. This, they're very honest about it. And I use a tip which you guys gave me. Uh, where you can shoot their greaves, if they have any, with fire arrows, and it stuns them, allowing you to get some free damage with your weapons, and then possibly get a an eye shot with the bow. Which, I guess, just trivializes these bosses even more. The, really, the only way that you can take damage here is by being an idiot like me. And with that... I said, and with that... He's dead. So inside the shrine that he opens is... A great Thunderblade with durability up. A weapon that's probably going to become a staple in the foreseeable future. So upon leaving that shrine, I decided to head west. Because there is a depression in the ground. A valley or... Yeah, I guess a valley. Called to Tobio's Hollow. And looking at it on the map and his oblong shape reminded me of the fountains or springs of power which the scales of the dragon corresponded to and getting a, a scale last episode in the jungle in my mind confirmed that the fountain had to be around here somewhere so heading over to the hollow it's quite the interesting lead up with a lot of the vegetation just dying as we approach and the bottleneck of this area being guarded by yet another Hinox. And at this point, I figured that the significance or the substance of the area had to come into play here. So much of what we had seen lacked the, this substance, and so I figured we were due. We were due to have something that led to something. So surely this Hinox guards the fountain that lies within Tobio's Hollow. So as I dodge his attacks and defeat him, here, can I do a wrist flick? Or can I just shoot him, I guess? Yeah, this works. So I figured it, it has to run out here. There has to be something here of substance. So finishing him off, he drops the normal fare, except he drops a royal bow and a royal broadsword which are not normal drops for a Hinox. Those are, as far as my understanding goes, from you guys talking in the comments, as well as reading on the internet, this is end game gear. This is some of the best gear in the game. So I figured it must lead to the fountain. And yet, once we got here, I was rewarded with a swamp and a Korok seed for my troubles. <coughs> But that's not all, because this Hinox was guarding far more than a, a simple Korok seed. There is a lot more to this area. In fact, there's double the amount which we just got of reward in this area, because it's not just one Korok seed, it's two Korok seeds. A boss was guarding two Korok seeds. <sighs> and you guys are probably flaming me in the comments for saying this area lacks substance. Well, let this prove it. So back at Luralin Village, there is a c plume of smoke, which I had seen when I was there, but I, I didn't really want to explore it. I thought it was a camp. So that's what we're doing now. Also, I'm joined by Epona! Say hi to Epona. 
she is not going to be staying for long. I was just re-rolling through the, the amiibo, which I do before every single episode, and she spawned in. So we're going to be using her for this episode, but we're then we're going to be going back to Sif. There's a Gerudo. Why is there a Hello? Sovak. Hmm, the weather here is nice and warm. It is not at all like that blazing heat in the desert. Are you here on vacation? Uh, yeah. I see. As for me. You see that island over there? That is Eventide Island. I came all the way here so I could go there. However, it is actually hard to get there by sea. It feels like you need to grow wings to go there. Have we... We've been to Eventide Island, right? This is Eventide Island, right? Yeah. We have we have been there. And we were Russian while well, we we weren't Russian while we were there. Uh you know I've been there. If only I had some wings. Wait. She needs wings. I have no clue what she means by that, but apparently she wants wings. So if you guys want to tell me why and how I get her wings in the comments, please do. Meanwhile, I'm going to mo be moving on by life. Hey, Pona, get over here. Okay. So, like I said, we're going through the coastline and seeing if it has, you know, obstacles that I can run into. Now, we're seeing if it has anything, any more shrines, anything of anything. Epona, you could totally jump that, woman. Woman. Sif is actually better than you. I can't believe it. He's smarter, and he actually follows... Actually, I think I don't think Epona follows paths like normal horses do. Instead, she just jumps at strange times. All right, so let's see what's over here. I'm hoping, my hope is that there's going to be some island off the coast, sort of like Eventide Island, which we can. I guess there's wait, there's a Kor there's a uh, Korok which we can get. And actually, I've been wondering, I haven't done this yet, can I, I can't take pictures of Koroks, oh, that's odd, I would have thought that I could, but apparently you cannot take pictures of Koroks and then scry them out, huh, alright, so let's land back on Epona here, and hope that there's something of substance, I, there is also the mountain, there is the tough mountain, which I don't think we've been up yet, so... If push comes to shove, maybe there's something up there? Otherwise, we're just going to have to weave through these trees. Now, certainly a lot of these little rocks have Koroks on them. I, re I don't doubt that, but I'm not actually after Koroks anymore. I mean, once I found out that there are 900 in the game, I kind of gave up on the Koroks. There's no, there's no real chance of me doing like an annotation video of those, even though on annotations don't actually exist. There's a little encampment, but there's a huge fortress. Looks like someone went crazy with the Tinker Toys over here. Anything else around? Big bluff, and I cannot lie. Uh, there's some pots. And we're in. Now let's switch over to... Actually, let's switch over to that with the exception of the Barbarian Helm, because I like dealing more damage. It's fun. Especially when the enemies are as easy as this, and you can just insta-kill them. Ow! Never mind, I stand corrected. You can't insta-kill them. You can just two-shot them. Okay, so where am I going here? Uh, I can shoot him dead. Cool. And... Wait a minute. Oh, there's our boat! It's a little bit late, but there's our boat. Let's see, where... Where is the objective of this giant apparatus, this giant tinker toy. What are we doing here? I actually hit him. Wow. There, oh, there's a there's a chest which we need to... Are you chucking rocks at me? I will end you. Yeah, I ended you. You too. I'll end him too. Let's see, are there any more? Double kill. Yeah. Oh, I didn't even see him, and I killed him. Beautiful. Oh, you have a fire arrow. That's like a rocket launcher. I should kill him. Can still deal a lot of damage. And we did it. Man, if there's ever a Wind Waker area, this is it. There's a fortress. You have to kill things. You get a chest when they're done. A Knight's Halberd with durability up. 
Do I want this? Is this something I should have? Actually, yes. Compared to the Soldier's Broadsword, this is better. I think. No, it's not. It's actually not. The, the Broadsword is better. That... Okay, well, we did this for nothing. Look how fast I'm... This is a high-level movement speed boost, which means this is the best you'll ever get. Look how fast I'm going. I'm just booking it. I'm like Sonic the Hedgehog. In fact, you know what? One of you in the comments told me about the ability to cosplay Sonic the Hedgehog. Just wait, I'll get my, my mojo back. Oh, you have a chest that you're not guarding very well. I guess they are guarding it pretty well. Uh, just ignore that comment. Oh, those are what those are what I think they are. Let's shoot that the bomb arrow. Get a lot of gems raining from the sky. Man, I'm fast with just walking too. I don't need to be running to go so at sonic speeds. Got it. I'm going to use the remaining time of the stamina boost to head over to Yaren Shrine and then go over here, I think. So I'm on Tuft Mountain. I'm currently heading up, hoping that it has something of substance. Uh, there's a road down here. I'm, I'm wondering what this is all about. Where is this road? Is it that? Yeah, I don't think that actually heads onto the mountain. So, although it does head into the mountain, which is odd. I wonder if it actually goes inside the mountain, or am I just kind of taking a shortcut and skipping? Ooh. Well, that looks important. There's some gems there, or some luminous stones. And a chest in the water. Yeah, let's grab that. So, luminous stones thus far. Not bad. Not bad. I can trade those in for... What on earth just happened? What was that? Do you see that? I just did a, th a thing. That was cool. Droppy do and fire arrows. Okay, that's not terrible. And then let's use the master sword for its true purpose, which is uh, switch over to said master sword. I found out that it is the best possible. That has flint. The best possible. Uh, uh, sledgehammer, because it insta-kills, it insta-kills rocks, and of course it rains as soon as I need to climb. Well, good. See, I think I can head around here and kind of cheat on the, the need to climb. Okay, what is up here? Anything? A Korok? Some birds? A spring? Ah. Okay, sorry about that. Uh, I just got jump scared in real life. There's this... In Washington, there's this breed of red termite that flies around in the air uh, in specific months of the year, and I just got Savota. attacked by it. Savota! Hmm? I didn't think I would meet you during a downpour. Are you... Could you be the vo I am destined to meet? No, I don't. do not think so. But this is the pond of legend, is it not? The one where a person finds true love? Yet all I see now is that strange vo on the other side of the pond. Could I be at the wrong one? What does she mean by vo? Also, <laughs> this heart-shaped pond, though, making it really obvious what it's all about. Who are you? Oh la la. Hey, 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 I'm just trying to work up the courage to talk to her. Let me just... Yeah? Uh, nope. Oh, I kind of want to do that. Oh, I kind of want to do that. Nope. <laughs> Rival time. She's mine. Girl, I won't let you stand in the way of my destiny. We're going to fight? I have a master sword. I also have this. It'll eat you. Uh, hey, hey, I'm trying to work up. Okay, no problem. Phew. I'm so glad. Oh, by the way, my name is Wobbin. Aww. To be honest, I lost my way earlier. I closed my eyes for a minute, and when I opened them, the most beautiful woman I've e ever seen was standing before me. At first I thought I was dreaming, or that she was a ghost or something. I mean, it's not every day you run into a gorgeous woman in the middle of nowhere, but figment of my imagination or not, it was love at first sight, and so I've decided to gather my courage and go confess my feelings to her. 
I decided long ago that when I meet the girl of my dreams, I'll hand her a blue nightshade and confess my love. A poisonous plant. Good job, buddy. If I had a blue nightshade, I'd head over to that woman. Look at the island over there. I mean, imagine her and a blue nightshade. Uh, uh, imagining her eating it and dying. That'd make a beautiful scene, don't you think? I, I have one. I think. I probably do. She stands there, completely unfazed by the rain falling around her. So splendid. I want to go talk to her, but I don't have anything worthy of, of being a gift. If only I had blue nightshade. Oh, the smell of it. I can almost imagine it right now. It's so clear. Almost like it's... Like it's... Wait. Do you have some? Please, give it to me. I need it. D d d d take it. Thank you. This is so perfect. It's exactly what I needed. Ooh la la! Are they gonna meet? Oh, is this gonna be like the awkwardest thing in the world? Please, please do it. I, I, I just, uh, when I look at her, my legs freeze up, my throat goes dry, I, I can't do it. Please, could you take my gift to her? Sure, that's what I do. Thank you. I'll give you back this new blue nightshade. Like, I needed it back, because I totally don't have a bunch of these. Oh, and don't forget, it's a present from me. <gasps> oh, there's potential for abuse here. I could... I, it could be from me, although I wouldn't want to give her a poisonous plant. So I'm going to give it to her from him. What's this? It's a gift from that guy. Take it. I don't need it. I see. So you're delivering these flowers from that vole over there. I don't sense any deceit from you. Aw, they crossed over the pond. Huh? Oh, so you're the one who gave me the flowers. Eek, I'm sorry. Could could it be you don't like Blue Nightshade? Why would you say that? This is my favorite kind of flower. How could you know that anyway? Are you a Yiga spy? No, 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 that's not it. I'm I'm just a spy, not a Yiga one. Blue Nightshade just happens to be my favorite flower. Long ago, I decided to give my true love this flower. Your true love. So this is what they call destiny. You're the vote that Destiny has chosen for me, then. Alright, go ahead and speak your piece. What do you mean? No, that's not right at all. I'm talking about what a vo says to a vi. What do you mean? Huh? You know, something like, I like you, or please go out with me. Uh, uh sure, asking so directly, how could I possibly say no? Huh? <laughs> that was actually pretty smooth, wow. Oh, wow, do you hear that? She says she likes me, and she wants to go out. This is the first time anyone has ever said that they like me, and for it to come from the woman of my dreams. This is such an amazing feeling. I'm so glad I was born into this world. There's no way I can truly thank you, but please take this as a token of my thanks. D huh? <laughs> what? That's it? That's all you're willing to offer him for something he's done for you? No, of course not. Here, this is what I meant to give you. Oh. Aw, much better. Hey, you. I guess I owe you too. I hope you have as much f luck finding someone as I did. Thanks to you. You know what? All that I, all that I had said about this place lacking substance. I take it back. This was nice. This was a nice little reward for my efforts. <laughs> getting a present. Oh, I, I skipped it. I'd need to keep it from getting wet in the rain. Huh? Oh, you're still here. I really owe you for helping out my vo. It is it's true that he's more a bit on the shy, nervous side. That's nothing but that's nothing a little push in the right direction can't solve though. I hope you get to meet your true love like soon, like I did. Aw. This was this was a feel good side quest. And when she's wet from the rain, she's even more beautiful. Hey! He feel free to say more nice things about me now. Yeah, this was good. I I am happy with this. And you know, there's more reward to be had. What is what's this? Also, there are hardy radishes all around, which are pretty nice. A throwing spear with long throw. Which you know, I don't. Looking at the spe the specs of this thing, I don't really need this. But still, this was a good quest. And with that, I think that we have found everything that there is to find in the Luralin region, in the lower Nekluda region, I don't know. That is going to be it for this episode. 
Actually, wait a minute. Wait, I, before before that happens, I need to look at this island. Oh, that's just Eventide Island. Okay. Well, that's gonna be it for this episode then. Whoa, whoa, whoa! Hold the phone. After this episode, quote unquote, ended, I wa I did a little bit of exploring. And I found, you know, I found some normal stuff. I found a, oh, where is it? Uh, I found a Stalnox over here, which I haven't defeated because it was daytime. But I also locked onto a shrine. And I think that's what this is. And with the, the lightning everywhere, I wonder if this is... Oh, come on, get up the thing. I wonder if this is the source of the lightning that the person at the stables was talking about. So, just because we're going to be jumping into oh this this is light I wonder I wonder give me a moment come on lightning now is when I want you don't fail me now wait a minute there's an alternative let's just you know equip this lightning I'm doing the rain dance come on come on oh I heard a spark Yes, okay. Can we drop this and continue to get the spark? Yes, we can. I'm out of your... Ooh. Okay. Well, I think this is the source of all of the lightning, maybe. Let's go inside. I know this is the end of the episode, and I've already ended the episode, but... I mean, we're going into the, the pit next episode, so I might as well do this now. Kuka Na's Blessing. Well then, I think this is the completion of the quest. <gasps> Ooh, rubber tights. These invaluable tights are resistance to uh, resistant to electricity. They're made with something called rubber, an ancient technology that no longer exists in this modern age. Oh. We got a new armor piece, and it gets shock resistance up. What do these look like? Actually, they don't look as bad as I thought they would. Huh. Well, neat. Uh, I think this is the completion of the quest, so I think I, we can go back to the stables and get a reward there. Fairly impressive. Not many could make it up here in such rain. I expect no less from a well-worn traveler like yourself. Me, I stay nice and dry. My feathers repel the rain rather well. And my instrument was designed to withstand extreme moisture. When your li livelihood revolves around ancient songs, you've got to be prepared for a re few raindrops. I know a song about this place. Would you like to hear the ancient verse passed down in this region? Sure. Oh. Excellent. Without further ado. When a lost hero calls down lightning from the sky. The monk responds from our giant mound on high. Oh. Ah, so there's a shrine inside that crag split by lightning. The vault was so ferocious that I worried I might be stuck down myself. <laughs> I'd say that such... i say that's worthy of being immortalized in song. Anyway, may the light shine ever in your path. And that was a shrine quest, which means it's probably not a stable quest. Right? Yeah. Well, cool. That was a that was a nice little wrap up for this area. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you enjoyed this episode in any capacity, please click like. If you didn't, then drop a comment telling me how I could make the next episode so, so that you would like it. Next time, we are since we are done with this area, we are going to be heading to complete the tri the final trial of the sword the final trial of the sword which has really good rewards in store and probably a lot of frustration from me so next time we'll find out just how much frustration there is in store see you guys then i will get him this round okay other bomb rock
Oh no, 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 whistle him, whistle him, no. Oh, the ones over there are dismissed Pikmin. No, they're fine. Whew. That's the first time we've actually seen that attack to any real effect. We've seen it started before, but never, never uh, actually worked. 